challenges our opponents, Padawan. You'll see. Master Sylwyn would insist on a trip to Valron when she'd sense me losing focus. But we also came because... It's time I return something of you. Oh! This is... A bunch of holes. What is this? It's why we're here. This is where you'll take some of your first steps of really listening to the Force, and letting it speak through you. Oh, whoa. Okay, this is what I want to Now hold on, Padawan. Remember, a Jedi... Mm -hmm. I remember. Sorry, Master. I'm sorry, Nua. I remember that feeling. Master Silwyn let me fail in front of her again and again. I should have done it first, to show you how to succeed. Now, stand back. You see, it's not just about defense. It's also about patience. Being settled before determining whether combat is even called for. Being focused. It could mean sparing the life of another. Or maybe saving your own. <laughs> I struck the exploding ones to show you what not to do. <laughs> You're good at this, Master. Well, I wasn't always. And you'll get better, too. But beyond your lack of patience, you let your eagerness for combat get the best of you. I understand. I get it. I just... good to use it. Okay. That emotion you're describing is a release. A release of frustration and rage. Those are not the tools of a Jedi. Maybe I brought you here too early. No, wait, Master! You brought me here for a lesson. I'll just watch and learn. We can push through like Master Silwyn said. That's the point, right? I suppose it is, Padawan. There we have it. Not a lesson in strength, a lesson in restraint. Sure, but aren't the Jedi supposed to defend the Outer Rim? I mean, I know we're peacekeepers, but how are we supposed to keep the peace without some money? The true measure of a Jedi isn't when they are the most powerful in the room. It's when they're not. Physical prowess and training is good. It is. But our goal is peace. 
So the mental side, the discipline, the clarity of thought and focus, that is the core of our strength. Okay. Well, are there any more provocative thinking exercises? <laughs> Lucky for you, there are. I wish Master Silwyn and I made it here more often. Who <coughs> left their rocks? They're ancient Devium stones, Padawan. And the key here is balance. Use the Force to arrange the stones. It's not solely about balance within, either. You need to consider balance with every decision as a Jedi. The balance of nature if you need to relocate a settlement, of a treaty and how it affects all parties. Balance doesn't always mean an even split of weight. Texture, density, shape, there are many aspects to consider. And that's just for these stones. The world outside this temple only gets more complex. Okay, but how important can this really be? Because most of the histories I've read are about great Jedi victories on the battlefield. I can't think of one that's like about the time Master Yoda concentrated really hard and achieved balance, the end. That's because you weren't listening. Every victory comes at a price. The notion of glory in winning? That's the lure of the dark side. Yeah. That... You're right. Okay. Show me another. thinking would have collapsed when I was young as short as you are now I was um, I'm actually tall for your Dell of my age oh uh, yes <laughs> well uh, knew I, I'm sorry I should have known that you're my first Padawan and I worry I'm not ready for this well it's okay to not be good at something on your first try. Patience and balance, right? Huh. Showing me. What would you call these? Master Sylvan called them obstacles. I think she wanted to change my perception on what an obstacle could be. Think about this, Padawan. What use is an obstacle? They don't have a use. 
They're just in the way. <laughs> they are. But an obstacle also presents us with a challenge. And challenges push us. Make us grow. Oh. Yeah. Let's do some more obstacles then. I'm not clear on what this was. Ew. Gross. Should we clear those out with my lightsaber? No. They have to be nurtured. Ugh, but they're nasty. It's how we foster growth. Learn to look at a problem differently, and an enemy can grow to become an ally. Or maybe even something more beautiful. Like a friend. Um, how? The flowers want the falling seeds. We provide them with the guidance they need. Actually beautiful. I was kind of afraid of them at first. You shouldn't fear something just because it's unusual to you. Fear, anger, hate, suffering, they all lead to the dark side. Never get scared? Well, I do. But if you're afraid of the dark, then you need to be the light. Something you fear now? Uh, being here brings back. A lot. I feel Master Silwyn's absence again. What was it? Like when you lost? It was like falling. You think there's nothing you can do, no way to reach out and stop the descent. Just deeper and. Deeper. And, uh, uh, thankfully, Master Yoda was there to guide me back. But her being gone, 
I don't ever want to leave you in a similar situation. Maybe now's a good time to return the crystal. Where will it go? There's a vessel here in the temple. Early Ithorian, I think. She always admired it. Okay. I'll wait over there. Thank you, Padawan. I'll be quick. There it is. Master Silwyn's always admired that one. Need to avoid the ones that explode. Not too bad. <laughs> I was a bit slow that time. That worked. All finished. All finished. That work. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Not too bad. What's this? Is this it? I'm not clear on... <laughs> showing me these what would you call these master Selwyn called them obstacles I think she wanted to change my perception on what an obstacle could be think about this Padawan what use is an obstacle they don't have a use they're just in the way <laughs> they are but an obstacle also presents us with a challenge. And challenges push us, make us grow. Oh, yeah. Let's do some more obstacles then. Obstacles. I think she wanted to change my perception on what an obstacle could be. Think about this, Padawan. I'm glad you're showing me these... What would you call these? Master Selwyn called them... I'm glad you're doing it. The way I was thinking would have collapsed. When I was young, as short as you are now. Okay. Show me another. Okay, but how important can this really be? Because most of the histories I've read are about great Jedi victories on the battlefield. I can't think of one that's like about the time Master Yoda concentrated. It's with every decision as a Jedi. The balance of nature if you need to relocate a settlement, of a treaty, and how it affects all parties. There we have it. Not a lesson in strength, a lesson in restraint. Sure, but aren't the Jedi supposed to defend the Outer Rim? I mean, I know we're peacekeepers, but how are we supposed to keep the peace? The true measure of a Jedi isn't... ...focused. It could mean sparing the life of another. 
Or maybe saving your own. I struck the exploding ones to show you what not to do. You're good at this, Master. Well, I wasn't always. And you get better too. But beyond your lack of patience, you let your <coughs> eagerness for combat get the best of you. I understand, Master. I get it. I just... We have this power. Sometimes it feels good to use it. Okay. That emotion you're describing is a release. A release of frustration and rage. Those are not the tools of a Jedi. Maybe I brought you here too early. No, wait, Master! You brought me here for a lesson. I'll just watch and learn. We can push through like Master Sylvan said. That's the point, right? I suppose it is, Padawan. Need to avoid the ones that explode. <laughs> There we have it. Good at this, Master. Well, I wasn't always. And you get better too. But beyond your lack of patience, you let your <coughs> eagerness for combat get the best of you. I understand, Master. I get it. I just... We have this power. Sometimes it feels good to use it. Okay. That emotion you're describing is a release. A release of frustration and rage. Those are not the tools of a Jedi. Maybe I brought you here too early. You're good at this, Master. I'm sorry, Master. I'm sorry, Nua. I remember that... ...feeling. Master Silwyn let me fail in front of her again and again. I should have done it first, to show you how to succeed. Now, stand back. Thank <laughs> you. 
You see, it's not just about defense. It's also about patience. Bunch of holes. What is this? It's why we're here. This is where you'll take some of your first steps of really listening to the force. And the others through you. Oh, okay. This is what I want. Now hold on, Padawan. Remember, the Jedi is yes, I'm sorry, Master. I'm sorry, Nua. I remember that. All finished. All finished. That worked. <laughs> Balance doesn't always mean an even split of weight. Texture, density, shape, there are many aspects to consider. And that's just for these stones. The world outside this temple only gets more complex.
Okay, but how important can this really be? Because most of the histories I've read are about great Jedi victories on the battlefield. I can't think of one that's like about the time Master Yoda concentrated really hard and achieved balance, the end. That's because you weren't listening. Every victory comes at a price. The notion of glory in winning? That's the lure of the dark side. Yeah. That, you're right. Okay. Show me another? glad you're doing it. The way I was thinking would have collapsed. When I was young, as short as you are now, I was... Um, I'm actually tall for your young age. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> well... <sighs> Nua, I'm sorry. I should have known that. You're my first Padawan, and... I worry I'm not ready for this. Well, I think it's okay to not be good at something on your first try. Patience and balance, right? Huh. <laughs> faster. showing me these what would you call these master Selwyn called them obstacles I wish master Selwyn and I made it here more often their rocks they're ancient devium stones padawan and the key here is balance use the force to arrange the stones it's not solely about balance with them either you need to consider balance with every decision as a jedi the balance of nature if you need to relocate a settlement of a treaty and how it affects all parties Peacekeepers, but how do you keep the peace without some muscle? The true measure of a Jedi isn't when they are the most powerful in the room, it's when they're not. Physical prowess and training is good, it is, but our goal is peace. 
So the mental side, the discipline, the clarity of in front of her again and again. I should have done it first to show you how to succeed. Now, stand back. You see, it's not just about defense. It's also about patience. Being settled before determining whether combat is even called for. Being focused, it could mean sparing the life of another, or maybe saving your own. You're good at this, Master. Well, I wasn't always. And you'll get better, too. But beyond your lack of patience, you let your eagerness for combat get the best of you. I understand, Master. I get it. I just... We have this power. Sometimes it feels good to use it. Okay. That emotion you're describing is a release. A release of frustration and rage. Those are not the tools of a Jedi. Maybe I brought you here too early. No, wait, Master! I'm not your lesson. I'll just watch and learn. We can push through like Master Sylwan said. That's the point, right? I suppose it is, Padawan. <laughs> There we have it. Not a lesson in strength, a lesson in restraint. Sure.